going on everybody um, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving uh, my name is Mason I had topic 12 um, my assignment was to visit a facility for the aged so that would be um, either a retirement community nursing home um, or an extended health care facility something of that sort uh, and interview someone 75 years or older so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about that a little bit about my experience there and yeah so let's just get right into it um, so I went to uh, Genesis Healthcare, which is, it is a chain, um, and there's like 6,000 um, like different places around the United States. Um, I think there's about 50 or 60 in New Jersey. Um, I chose the one uh, in Millville, which is in South Jersey, it's just where I'm from. Um, and my grandmom actually, uh, she lives there now, that's where a couple years ago we decided to make the decision to um, put her there. Uh, she just, you know, it just wasn't a good idea for her to be at home anymore. Um, so I went there a couple days ago and I asked my grandma a bunch of questions. So one question I asked her was uh, how the healthcare and education that she received as um, a child, like growing up, how that differs from uh, what she gets now and she told me that you know when she was growing up she grew up in like a very rural part of Tennessee and she grew up with like family of like six or seven kids and so you know it was very poor uh, so they couldn't really afford uh, health care or you know doctor visits and health care actually like Medicare wasn't really around back then that wasn't until um, I think like the 50s or 60s I'm not sure uh, but yeah, so to, you know, any time, anytime she got sick, she would just kind of like, you know, deal with it at home. And there was like different little concoctions she could whip up, you know, if she was sick, um, you know, had the, like the flu or something, you know, she would take care of that at home. And, you know, now, uh, ever, ever since she moved to New Jersey, you know, that opportunity has, you know, spiked up a lot and we have resources upon resources. And every time or anytime she would get sick, uh, you know, the doctors like firsthand you know anytime any little thing happens you know just call the doctor up you know go get checked out or whatever um, and as far as education uh, her you know she just kind of learned the basics you know growing up you know uh, the grades kindergarten through third grade were actually all in the same uh, class like in the same room and the teacher would just kind of like teach them separately but kind of the same thing so that was kind of weird you know is de definitely different than what we have now because um yeah okay uh i asked I, the second thing i asked her was <clears throat> you know if she could change something about uh her living experience what it would be um and she said that you know she really likes it there you know, there's not like a whole lot of things that she would change but one thing that she would change is the amount of independence that she gets um she they operate um, in a nursing home as you can imagine on a tightly tightly like regimented schedule so there's you know times for eating sleeping activities um pretty much anything you can think of showering bathing uh so that kind of doesn't leave a whole lot of personal pri like personal privacy and like different uh things that you can do on your own um but other than that she she liked it um yeah compare the degrees of independence opportunities for growth and development physical and emotional support systems and the overall environment. Uh, one thing I could say about that is that she um, she's going through PT uh, for her arm. Uh, she like, she hurt her arm in like a car accident like five, six years ago and it wasn't really mobile. So she's been undergoing PT doing that now and she really likes it. Um, not only the like physical benefits that she gets out of it, but just being able to interact with like, uh, those staff members and the PT members, because the people that work in like the PT department, um, they're, you know, significantly different than your regular caretakers that go into the room and help you with other things like that. Um, so that's one thing that she likes. She also said, you know, it's a very supportive environment and everyone's nice and takes care of them. Um, uh, okay, and then the third question I asked her was to analyze the advantages and disadvantages of each. Um, part of the facility so you know like I just said before everything was pretty good um, except the privacy and she also said that the regular 
food that they serve, like not including like holidays, because they get like catered um, from different places in the area for the holidays. Um, and that that food is good, but the regular food is like not good. So I don't know. You know, I can't really do anything about that. But yeah, and she also said yeah. So that was pretty much it. But you know, the good thing, the good, the advantages of it was that. You know, the physical therapy was good. Um, it was good for any individual who needs it. And there's like a lot of activities. She she told me there's bingo, there's singing, uh, different entertainers um, and performers will come in and, you know, put on like a little show for them. There's arts and crafts. And there's also a, um, a Miss Genesis, like a little pageant that they do once a year, um, which is pretty cool. When my great grandmother, she was in the same facility. Um, she, she passed away, I think, two or three years ago now. She actually won that Miss Genesis pageant, so that was pretty cool, taking the, taking the trophy home. Um, but, yeah, that was, pretty, that was pretty much all I asked her. Uh, just to kind of sum up my experience there, um, I definitely thought it was rewarding. Um, I think it's good, like, volunteer-wise to, to volunteer at a place like this because it's kind of like a two-way street when it comes to volunteering because not only are you going there to learn or get like your hours done um, or whatever reason you're going there even for just personal benefit they're also benefiting um, because any human interaction outside of what they get there is just it's very profound it's special it's just not something that they get all the time so whenever they can get it uh, it really makes their day a lot, and it makes their, makes them really happy. Um, but yeah, you know, it was a really good experience. It was uh, definitely something I would do again. I, I have a lot of uh, experience in places like this, and you know, Genesis is actually one of the nicest uh, places that I've been to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions.